Well, hello, my name is Roy Madden. I'm the executive director of the Henrietta Chamber of Commerce. And with me today is one of our board members and also rodeo committee chairman, uh, Tammy Hyatt. Hi, Tammy, Roy. thank you very much for spending your time with us today. Thank you, really looking forward to it. You know, I'm really pumped up. It's Gosh, it's spring and we got a lot of things going on. You know, we've got our, our high school graduation and other activities going on. Uh, but we have something major coming up June 1st. And that's going to be our big cruise night. Yeah, those are so much fun to see all the crowd, that the people that come from everywhere around here with their old cars and they line up and down Main Street. And it's just, it's just such a neat, relaxing event to go walk around and look at all the cars and stuff. Uh, it's really retro. Yeah. You know, it just yeah. take, takes us right back. And then one of the things for you old timers out there not, that, that yeah. may not call it cruise night, it's drag main night, if you will. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you can bring your hot rods, bring your show car. Motorcycles. Bring anything you got and just have a great time. Yeah. And then it also morphs into a car show, if you will. Oh, yeah. They'll be lined up and down Main Street, parked angrily here. And, and it's there's some amazing vehicles that show up for this event. Uh, I am so impressed because we have two of them a year, mm -hmm. one in the spring and then one in the fall. And yeah. Stacy Alsover uh, uh, from First Family Federal Credit Union is our chair that has brought this program along so far. Yeah. And it is tremendous. Now I got a post uh, on Facebook uh, yesterday and uh, we're gonna be having different vendors available in right. different uh, civic organizations. But uh, one of our vendors is going to have some roasted ears of corn oh, and lemonade good. right next to the chamber office. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. So. Well, and there's bounce houses for the for the little kids and stuff. I mean, there's really something for everybody that 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 night. You know I think so. Doing? And yeah. the nice thing about it too, it gives mothers and fathers, grandmothers and granddads a chance to show their children and their grandchildren, hey, this is what we used to do. Yeah. And, and I really think it's pretty pretty doggone neat. And to be able, able again to come out and see the old cars and everything and yeah. enjoy them when they had the character of individualism in their cars. Well, and you're actually seeing the cars and it's not on a screen. Right. It's not on a phone, it's not on a video, it's not a YouTube, it's here in person. You actually get to see, look at the cars, and it, and you, like you say, it's kind of a retro event. It goes back to, you know, when for fun, you just drove up and down Main Street, you know? Yeah. Well, and kids today, they don't, you know, they're doing that on a, on a video game. Well, mm -hmm. no, see what it's like. I mean, it just takes you back, and it's, it's just such a, a fun, relaxing evening. So we want to thank all involved, especially the city of Henrietta, all the support we get from them, our, our PD and others that yeah. help us out so much on this. And, uh, but come out to cruise night, June 1st, beginning at 6 p.m., and it goes until 10, and just have, have a good time. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's no. your time to come out and enjoy no. it. And Tammy, now yes, then, sir. getting over to the rodeo side of the house. Yes. We have something coming up, don't we? We do. We have our Spring Roundup Rodeo coming um, June 7th and 8th at the Jim Shoulders Living Legends Rodeo Arena in Nichols Park. And it's, it's exciting. We've been doing it, what, this will be the 13th, 13th Roundup Rodeo we've had. So that's been a good event. This rodeo, different from our um, Labor Day Rodeo, is this is an open rodeo, which means, you know, anybody can enter. You don't have to have an association affiliation. You can just decide, you know, if you're in the timed events, you want to come to the rodeo that night, throw the horse in the trailer, come to town, enter up. So... That's one thing about the open rodeos. Well, and if you want to do mutton busting, you bring your little one. We got mutton busting. Yeah, we got mutton busting each night before the rodeo. That'll start between seven and seven thirty. And uh, we had a mutton busting last year that we just kind of had the rodeo around it. It kind of was an <laughs> overwhelming event. I never seen so many little kids, but uh, but we had a great rodeo in combination with it, along mm -hmm. with the rough stock riders, yes, uh, saddle bronc yes. bareback riders, bull riders. And you know one of the one of the neat things too is now this is the Jim Shoulders Roundup Rodeo, and as as Tammy mentioned, it's an open rodeo. Mm -hmm. You see, Jim Shoulders had to start somewhere, yeah. and he started yeah. in an open yeah. rodeo in Colton, yeah. I believe it was, yeah. and uh, or 
I believe it was Colton, but it may have been Olton. Uh, but anyway, uh, he started an open rodeo. And then, of course, we have our Jim Shoulders Living Legends Rodeo coming up uh, in the fall. But we want to let you know that the uh, pre-sale tickets for the upcoming rodeo uh, will be available at Paul's Western Store, Jiffy Mart, Hyatt Window and Glass, and here at the Chamber of Commerce. Now, these tickets are discounted. So to save you money and uh, take advantage of this, so you'll get $2 off the gate price. Uh, the rodeo starts at 8 p.m. each night. It's Friday and Saturday, June 7th and 8th. So and, this and the mutton busting starts earlier. It's it's before the rodeo. So and I believe it is eight and under in the mutton busting. Um, and also one thing about this rodeo that's kind of neat. It's really cultivating the future rodeo athletes because it has a junior bareback riding, and so kids that are 12 and under can enter this. And this is where, like, you know, if, if they would have had a junior bareback riding back in Jim's day, that would have been one place he could have got his career started mm -hmm. even earlier. So, and then there's also a, a junior barrel racing for the, for the young ones and stuff. So, so this, is, this rodeo is really a, a, a stepping stone to getting to, you know, high school level, college level, pro level, so. So we're looking forward to it. We'll have all the major events, and of course we mentioned yep. youth events, but it's going to be full of the regular rodeo adult events and everything too. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's yeah. ranch bronc riding, um, bareback riding, tie down roping, uh, team roping, the guys, you can enter three times, uh, women's breakaway roping, uh, bull riding, barrel racing, and then junior barrel racing. So. And our star contractor this year is 44 Rodeo Company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 44 uh, Bar Rodeo Company. Yeah, they're out of... Um, Southern Oklahoma, down around um, Antlers, I believe. Well, we're really excited about having yeah. them, having yeah. them this year and working with them. So we invite you to come out to a rodeo, have a great time, and uh, uh, it's something that uh, we again we want to build build on our future rodeo contestants. Yes. And I got the rumor yesterday. I know that uh, that we may have a mystery bull rider coming in. Huh? To this event, uh -huh. would you call him maybe a celebrity bull rider? In his own mind? in his own mind, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, a world champion in his, in own, his mind. own mind, yeah, yeah. Um, um, something he likes to brag, pro quality in his own mind. in his own mind, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so we'll just so kind we're going to see if this comes about right we'll here because we'll uh, kind of leave that out there, and, yeah. Uh, so. And, and if, it, if it happens, you really won't want to miss it. Oh, You'll need to no, be there. you won't want to miss this. Yeah, yeah it'll, be, it'll be legendary. He's got spurs <laughs> that jingle, 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 I'll yeah. tell you that. Yeah. And what else we have coming? Oh, this uh, Saturday coming up is the, uh, the Disc Golf Clinic. Oh, oh yes. Uh, the Disc Golf Clinic yes, coming up Nichols out at Park. Nichols Park. Okay. And the big uh, uh, park shootout for Disc Golf is going to be June 1st also. Now that doesn't conflict with the uh, cruise night because that's going to be happening during the day. During the day, the cruise yes. night starts yes. at six six yes. o'clock. Yes. So a lot of great events coming out about in well, Henrietta. Well, and then um, I believe that the the um, oh the remote control airline club. I don't know if I call them uh, airline, but yeah, airlines. yeah, airline, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that right. Uh, but I think they're having a fly-in too. Well, they're going to have a, uh, the the uh, the aviator club. What they're going to have is kind of very interesting. Uh, is they're going to have a fly-in down at their at their uh, <coughs> port area at the industrial park. Yes, yes. And it's really going to be combat planes fighting each other, and this mm -hmm. means some planes will get destroyed in reality. <laughs> and if you've never seen these remote control planes, it's going to happen June first also, but prior so to uh, the uh, going on. Yeah. Pri prior to the uh, yeah, I think cruise it night. starts like at seven thirty in the morning. It's a, it's yeah, in the morning. It's, yeah, it's so the morning. we've got yeah. a number of events going on in Henrietta. Yeah. And if you, you know, for people to say there's nothing going on in Henrietta, all you've got to do is look and see what is happening yeah, in Henrietta. Yeah. A number of things are going on, and of course we've got other events planned throughout the year. And then, uh, what I'm also want to make give, give a good plug to many of our Main Street businesses that are beginning to to make improvements to their facilities, their yes, structures, their front, their curb appeal. Yes, it's yes. it's a slow process, but it is occurring. We are excited about Henrietta. 
in red is going to do nothing but grow and make a very impressive place for us to live, as it is a very impressive yes. place to live now, yes. but continue to improve. Uh, any last thoughts on the uh, uh, on the rodeo? Well, I I if I can, I'd really like to share some great news about our Labor Day rodeo, the Jim Shoulders Living Legends rodeo. This will be the rodeo's 26th year of inception, and we you know we had a great celebration for our 25th anniversary, and and uh, was really wondering how we were going to top that this year, and. Um, Everything just fell into place and it, and it worked and this year the, our rodeo is going to be sanctioned with the PRCA and Jim Shoulders was actually a founding member of the Cowboy Turtles Association and uh, so to we, the fact that we finally get to honor him completely, I think that's a, a great, great step for us. Well, the PRCA is actually what, is, what it was morphed from, right. the uh, Turtle Association, yes, yes. but it is the premier professional rodeo cowboy association and yes. the Women's Professional Rodeo Association yes, yes, also. Yes, has the sanction. Huge body. step for yeah. the Jim Shoulders yeah. Living Legends Rodeo is occurring this year, yeah. and uh, it, it, it's been a long time in the making, a long time coming. Yeah. And this is a major step, so we appreciate all yeah. the efforts of the rodeo committee it's, making that uh, happen. You know, and, and a lot of people might wonder, well, why didn't you do that a long time ago? A lot of a lot of reasons, but but right now we we just had the opportunity and the timing for it to all work correctly. Um, it's a major investment for our for our committee and uh, monetary and a lot of other things, and so it was just it was just a timing thing. So, but we're excited that it is happening this year. Well, thank you for visiting Chamber Chatter today. And remember, cruise, cruise night, June 1st, beginning at 6 p.m. We have the, uh, the Henrietta Aviators flying in early in the morning, uh, doing their demonstrations out at the Industrial Park, uh, beginning about 7.30. We have the, the Disc Golf Clinic. If you've never tried Disc Golf, you need to visit this clinic. Yeah. Uh, also going on on June 1st. And uh, then we have the, uh, the big Jim Shoulders Spring Roundup Rodeo, uh, June 7th and 8th. Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate you being with us. And if you have any questions, give me a call here at the Chamber at 918-652-3331. Have a great day. Thanks.